one of these things called the Thanksgiving stock, right? The turkey stock, some stock that starts rallying a week or so before Thanksgiving and really, really goes parabolic. Maybe that stock is Tesla, right? We know here we are looking for some $2 stock is going to nine. You know, here's Tesla, right? And, and Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So. I used to hear on uh, social media um, for, for a while now, right, for a while, this one's going to the moon, that one's going to the moon, it's going to the moon, it's going to the moon. And I used to say, well, what the hell is the moon, right? What, what the hell is the moon? What, what price target, what technical book have you read that the moon is, is an area of interest where a stock can go to? And today, today really did prove, or for the last week, <laughs> has really proved that uh, apparently there is a moon, right? And not only is there a moon, apparently you can go higher than the moon. And, and this is what's going on right now in Tesla. And what we're seeing right now, I mean, I've always, you know, if you've been watching this broadcast for even the last two, three, four, five years, you know how much uh, affection uh, I have uh, for, for Tesla. I, I love the stock. I trade it long, I trade it short. It doesn't make a difference. This last move was absolutely magical. The gap up we got this morning uh, into the 1130s, into the 1140s, into the 1150s. I felt like this is it. You know, this is this is your this is your time to to get out of the trade for all your runners. Uh, get out of all your runners. Matter of fact, as literally the first thing uh, I talked about this morning. You know, this was at uh, you know eight, before eight o'clock in the morning. I was like, look, if this is the day you want to consider getting out of all your runners, this is it, right? This is the day. And the most amazing, amazing thing is just when you think uh, the stock is ready to gas out or potentially uh, could put in a blow off top after a 400, 450 point move in the last couple of weeks, right? They, they start coming in again. They start coming in for deep out of the money calls. And, and, I, and I was watching it this morning. And I said, hey, guys, in the next day or so, let's keep an eye on the scene for a potential blow off top. Right. I go eventually one day it's going to get to twelve hundred. But here's where a four hundred point move in a week needs to be taken. Better value in other places. Remember, so when you want to know, know when you have to. Again, when I said twelve hundred one day, I didn't mean nine hours after I, I, I tweeted this out. So for all you guys who did sell into the 1150s, again, who's really upset, right? I mean, absolutely, who's really upset? Um, now the question is, how high can this thing go without putting in a blow off top? Matter of fact, I actually thought at one point of the day, it started to putting in a rolling high, right? So I was seeing three candles in a row of lower highs coming on the 60 minute. It's like, ah, you know, this, this thing's maybe is a day away uh, from coming in and, and, and really, uh, you know, pulling in maybe 75, 100 points. And to, to Tesla's um, amazement, amazement, uh, the stock just absolutely is going nuts. It's trading 1220s after the uh, after hours. Um, just an absolute phenomenal run. Um, and not only that, right? Not only that, I mean, there's actually other things uh, going up in the market. Uh, you know, today even thought uh, the NASDAQ was maybe, you know, had, needed a rest. The, you know, the Qs actually went down, everything got lower, and the market just keeps on higher and higher and higher. And just when you think the, the market can't go higher, uh, more call buyers coming in, uh, deeper, more aggressive expiration dates, near terms coming, and they're really, really taking the market higher. And this is what, and again, like I said on, on the, the weekend video, this is what a bull market is. This is the, this is the, you know, this is the reality of all your patience, all your homework, all your uh, trading and channels uh, of distribution cycles. This is it on steroids, but this is it. So uh, the market continues to go higher. Uh, not everything is moving up higher. Uh, Google, uh, you know, you had moves on Google today. Uh, Google and Amazon, you know, pretty, you know, pretty, you know, got hit pretty. Pretty decent today. You got you know really pretty big aggressive reversal on Google. Uh, big big decline uh, today. And Amazon looked actually looked worse than it was on the 60 minute. Uh, you, know, you still have weakness in Netflix and Apple. And with all that, uh, the Nasdaq 100 was still 
uh, pretty, pretty big. Speculation money continues to roll in very, very aggressively. I'll show you the pivots in a second. There was a stock, Greet, right? Greet, they're still coming in for 20, 25 point out of the money calls three weeks into expiration. You're talking about uh, it put in a $3 move intraday like nothing. A $27 stock came in like nothing intraday. You have fuel cells moving up, the alternative energy, the battery plays, even when there's bad news comes out in this group and, and in this, you know, some, something uh, to do with some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of uh, government subsidies that are yanked and this, that, the other thing, the market just doesn't care. Uh, it's a bull market. It's very, very strong. The key is, again, we kind of want to remind ourselves every single day, again, stay off those high juice, right? Stay off the high juice. Uh, watch for the names that are coming off the bottom. The names that are coming off the bottom are always going to give you the biggest value. So if you look at the indexes, again, you got the Qs, continue to grind. This upper Bollinger Band is uh, 39070. If you look at the SPYs, again, continue to grind. We're not even above this channel yet, but it continues to grind uh, to all time highs. And, you know, look at the IWM, right? This is the one that was staying in a channel for a very, very long time, failed to break out, and finally started breaking out. Again, this represents speculation money. So we're kind of set up. I mean, this, I mean, really, the, the narrative has not changed uh, in the last you know, two weeks. We're above the 50 day on the queues. We've reclaimed big levels uh, th this uh, afternoon on the Russell, the diamond, the spies, they all continue uh, to kind of melt up. And now we are what? Two, three weeks away uh, from Thanksgiving. That is a very bullish time, right? The end of the fourth quarter is super bullish. You usually have one of these things called the Thanksgiving stock, right? The turkey stock, some stock that starts rallying a week or so before Thanksgiving and really, really goes parabolic. Maybe that stock is Tesla, right? We know here we are looking for some $2 stock is going to nine. You know, here's Tesla, right? And, and here's the most ironic part about Tesla. We'll kind of move forward after this. I don't even think it's gone parabolic yet. That's the craziest part about it. I don't think uh, it's gone parabolic. Eventually it will. And eventually it's going to, you know, put, start putting in some heavy topping action. And eventually it's going to have that 100 point, you know, day reversal. Eventually. You know, it might go to 35,000 first. Who the hell knows? Elon Musk, a genius, and Elon we trust. Long, short, sideways, up, down. Uh, in and out all around. And the most important part is, again, uh, bull market uh, continues. So again, now our goal, again, stay away from anything uh, overextended. Look for names that are coming out of channels that are either, either reclaiming channels, coming off the bottom channels, or starting to reclaiming short-term intervals. So for example, uh, a name like Apple, you know, we're watching, right? We're watching. You know, they, they, they held their earnings breakout. If you guys remember that 145 was the breakout on earnings. It came in reclaimed. Now I'm watching the five-day moving average has been rejected there uh, back to back days if you know if Apple starts reclaiming back the five-day moving average again for all you guys who've been uh, watching this you know how important that five-day moving average is it's short-term sentiment so if Apple starts confirming back the five-day moving average again that's value we, we already know the stock has been rejected off the five day two days in a row so you know if it gets rejected the third time around tomorrow you don't want to be in the trade anyway so that's how important uh, this level is uh, a name like Airbnb, uh, which was a really, really nice move. We talked about this thing uh, during the weekend update as well. Finally got above the 173 levels uh, after three times of rejection. And now tomorrow, this thing is set up. They were coming for uh, the 182.50 calls. Weekly is coming in on Airbnb. If this thing starts uh, taking out this top of the range here, you know, Airbnb can uh, wake up as well. Even Goldman Sachs, you know, Goldman is actually held up fairly well. If you look at a lot of the financials, you know, they've gotten hit. If you look at uh, Visa, if you look at MasterCard, right, these things got hit. Goldman is, you know, is, is the pillar of uh, strength here. And look how close Goldman Sachs is here taking out a multi-month range here. So if the financials are strong and there's a rotation back into the financials, you know, keep an eye on Goldman Sachs. Even a name like Peloton has been having some problems, have had some really good times. You know, even Peloton today, first close over the five-day moving average. Again, I don't think it's going to get back to this high, but look, I mean, if this thing starts confirming the five-day tomorrow's channel, maybe you could get a $3, $4 move. Remember, not every single trade is Tesla. Not every single stock is going to go up 
12, 10, 12, 15, $30 candles. Sometimes a dollar is a good thing, right? Sometimes uh, sometimes um, uh, 50 cents, so do $2, $3, it's a wonderful thing. And again, I think a lot of traders have been so spoiled uh, by some of these moves that when you get a dollar in a trade, you're like, Shh, you shut your nose to it because again, you don't want to be bothered. Again, I don't get out of bed for less than $10, right? That can't be your personality. That can't be your trade. It's not an all or nothing uh, type of business. You have to grind, you have to grind, and then eventually you get that Tesla that breaks that you know, 90 yard uh, touchdown uh, all the way to the house. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Uh, again, uh, we talked about this morning. And congratulations for all you guys who came in uh, from the runners uh, over the weekend. You know, you had a $40 candle. I saw it and I turned around and said, look, this is the day you want to get you want to close out your position. You want to sell in your stock when you can, uh, when you want to, not when you have to, yada, yada, yada. 55 points later, nobody cares what I think. The damn thing uh, continues to go higher. Uh, blue, not a big move. 750 uh, needs to build. Here is blue, right? Not a big move. It went from 750 to like 765 and then it reversed. Nothing there to talk about. Uh, Google never got up to the 2965, 2973 level, got rejected uh, pretty much pre-market. Uh, this thing was a really good move. How good was this stupid thing? And, and I say stupid thing in the nicest way possible. Uh, we were watching this thing um, pre-market, uh, Gree, not Cree, but Gree, Friday, right? The previous Friday had November 1555 calls. The stock's 27 bucks, right? A red to green for experienced traders is not a pivot, it's just momentum, needs to build 28, 70. We'll get to that in a second. Apple, I still like it. QS, not a bad move. Um, QS had a dip uh, earlier than 29.80.30, went to 30.65. I still like it. I don't think it's still it's still there. It still hasn't really really uh, reclaimed that thirty dollar level. Nice, you know, nice little 60, 70 cent pop, but nothing big yet. Uh, they were coming for the weekly 32 calls. We still want to watch this thing for tomorrow. Uh, STX, we've been talking about this thing for uh, several sessions. Ninety dollars needs to build. Here was uh, STX, finally took out that 90 uh, and traded all the way up to 93 and change. Really, really good move on STX. Uh, INMD, I wasn't watching this thing. I saw it confirm, I just wasn't watching it. INMD, 9630, I should have been watching it. 9630 went to almost 99. Oh, oh well, just wasn't my thing, so I wasn't watching it. Uh, Air, AB, ABBV, I watching, wasn't watching either. ABBV, 1560. 1560 looks like it just traded up to the 1560s and just kind of died. Uh, Roku 303 obviously never got there. Fubu was a big mover, really, really big mover. 31 uh, needs to build. Here was Fubu, Fobo. Uh, it took out this whole 31 channel and all the way up to 3345. I still like this thing higher. Uh, this thing looks higher. If it can just get above. Uh, if you can just get above this uh, 3370, 34 level, uh, you could have your next leg up. So keep an eye on FOBO. Uh, Tesla, again, here's what we're talking about. I was looking for a reversal. You know, it tested 1114 twice. You know, again, I trade both sides. Doesn't matter for me, but never got back down to the 1114. And obviously, it's 100 points higher firm was there. So again, just an unbelievable story. Uh, Fubu monster size buyer comes in. Uh, 62 IIVI needs to build. Nice pop on IIVI. Uh, IIVI. Here was 62, right? It took out the 62, uh, traded almost to 64. Nice pop there. And here's where what I was talking about. Gree, 27 needs to build. They were coming in for the 50 to 55 dollar calls literally for three weeks of expiration and look what the stock did here was the thir here's the 37 we talked about 37 37 it took out 37 went to 31 i mean phenomenal move that, that, that was really outside of tesla this was definitely the, the most aggressive uh move in the, especially interval of the day really really huge move there on Gree, here comes IIVI, QS, 33 measured potential, take on the way up, 30s, keep a runner, break even, and this thing actually came uh, all the way back in. So that's it, that's it. You know, we still have a bull market. We still wanna uh, take advantage of the names that are strong, that are continued strength, but the most important part is names that are not overextended. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, stay safe, and with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow.